Pata India chapter gearing up for its next tourism powerhouse. We have flown in a lot of uh, international speakers from all over the world and we have uh, our CEO Pata International Mario Hardy is coming and then we got uh, a specialist Professor Wolf Gong who is coming and going to be speaking about uh, to, uh, tourism in China. Then we are going to be talking about uh, the, the perspective from the uh, new generation. At the same time, we will have uh, Sarah Matthews from TripAdvisor who will be speaking about high and impact of uh, social media and tourism. The idea being to uh, now provide some thought leadership to the industry and uh, we feel that if we kind of partner with organizations, partner with individuals, be it universities, associations, Indian or global, we will be able to expand the role of the Indra Sharma Foundation. We realized that uh, the kind of content that the Pata Powerhouse was putting together, it was short, it was crisp, it was relevant, it was global, it was, its outreach was, was, was really um, looking outward rather than inward. As per JLL, 22 branded hotels opened in India with 1,474 rooms in quarter three this year. The turnaround man Ashwani Lohani shares glimpses of his journey. Yeah, I've been involved with tourism since I'll say 1993 when I was the director of the National Rail Museum for five years. And after that I became director of Tourism Government of India for five years. In between I was chairman of ITDC. In that time we did a lot of experiments in tourism and brought in a lot of IT in tourism and improved the hotels. Then I headed Madhya Pradesh tourism thrice in three different tenures. And this is my second tenure in Air India because tourism is all about travel and travel in India is about 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 air travel, airlines. It's all it's about railways. So in between I also headed the railways, Indian railways for one and a half years. You have to have love for the nation, you have to love for the country we live in, the society we live in. And it needs improvement. So we have to contribute our bit wherever we are, the best possible way. And that is the only thing which can keep you high. Travel and tourism industry is one industry which is never going to die because traveling and having a good time is, it was there earlier, it is going to be there in future, it's going to be always there and as disposable incomes rise, more and more people will travel and they'll have a good time. This is a sunrise industry always.